Welcome to Collectors of the Coast. I am Cash. I'm Dash. And I'm Slash. And uh, so we have uh, Uncle Slash here today to uh, do a video with us. Uh, so uh, it is, he is uh, Dash's uncle and, uh, and and my best friend. So uh, he's gonna he's brought an Ikoria uh, fat pack to open. We're also gonna do a guess the card clue. So we're gonna start with the guess the card clue. Uh, welcome to the video today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So he has he has been playing hard online, uh, climb on the ladder. I think he's uh, close to mythic uh, on on the that ladder. That is true. Online. That is true. I've been putting a lot of hours in on Magic Online. Really enjoying it. So, <laughs> and what do you play? What what's your favorite deck? Um, I play the white and black deck, and um, it has a lot of cards that um, will do multiple damage um, with um, both attacking and healing and i love playing um mirror march um because then you can you know multiply your that same card multiple times and um, do extra damage which is fantastic so he does uh i know he's got uh, luminous broodmoth in that deck That's i right. think he's got uh gary or gray merchant of asphodel absolutely uh any other cards that are notable um yeah, those two, those three are the top ones that I enjoy having together. Um, I do have the um, Witch's Oven. Witch's Oven Call as well familiar. with the Black Cat, that combo. Yeah, that combo is amazing. Yeah. And, um, and what's the one, the red one, the... Arwen Devil? No, Arwen War, War, the Sage card. A Crow in War. Yeah, that one is War. fantastic. I love stealing other opponent's cards and using it against them. So, it's so, so I tried to get him to play for years. He lived with me for seven years. <laughs> Played like a few times with me, would not play with me, and then randomly last year he decided to get hard into Magic the Gathering, and he's been he's yeah been playing, I do so. about three hours a day every day, <laughs> so he's hard he <laughs> plays more than I do because I'm busy doing videos for you guys. So, um, anyway, so we are gonna do a clue for uh, Core Set 2021 uh, for those that might be new to it. Um, basically, what we did we opened up a pack of Core Set 2021. We got the cards, we shuffled them up, we flip a card. Uh, we give you guys clues. If you guess the clue at home, then you get the pack of cards. Uh, you will you will uh, email me your address if you, if you haven't uh, given it to me already, and uh, and I'll send you off the cards. So uh, pretty good, free stuff, always good. Uh, so what was our first clue we did this time, uh, Dash? I have no idea. Have no idea. It was just we were pretty vague. We did no creatures. It is not oh, a creature. And then the second one was no instant or sorcery. Correct. So this time the clue is going to be. It is not a token or an enchantment. So that means it's an artifact or a land. We've had a lot of artifacts and lands guessed, so there's actually not that much left to guess. So uh, good luck. Put a uh, guess in the comments below. Um, we are now going to uh, double up this video. So we're going to uh, be opening this uh, Ikoria fat pack right now. Yes. All right. So we're going to get into this box. Uh, you'll notice we've got a nice Teferi uh, mat. Uh, Slash got this because it looks like him. He he realized it looked like uh, Magic the Gathering, the political correctness, is using a nice generic uh, black man in the picture, right? This is the opposite and, of Slash. And uh, we, think, we think that uh, Slash is going to sue Magic the Gathering for using his image to make the art. He's laughing. He's telling me very racist. Um... Anyways, you got the nice die in there. Uh, so another foil classification. We're not going to open this. These are just lands. The classification on lands. Yeah, and we have classifications coming out our bum. We've been getting that card a lot. So, all right. So in the pack, uh, so that uh, Slash can see, uh, it does give you a couple of uh, counters, loyalty counters. Uh, kind of goes through uh, some of the standard ways to play. Standard, booster draft, commander. Um, you also get some some play tokens, so you you can pop these out, and you get lifelink, first strike, menace, all the different tokens for the set. So, kind of oh, a nice thing. Like the crystal, they are all used for crystalline crystal, crystalline giant. Crystalline giant, yeah, good Uses card. every single one. Right, and what are the other options? They've got the Japanese art of the crystalline giant. We got kicking around somewhere. What a, what's it, what's it called? Oh, yeah. Mechagodzilla! Mechagodzilla, yeah. All right, so we're going to go through these fairly quickly, the commons. Everyone's seen commons at this stage, so... All we got right. a baby Godzilla. We got a baby Godzilla or a Polywog symbiote. All right. Oh, nice. Full art. Parcel Beast. Very nice. 
How do you like the art? Yeah, it's nice. Cool, eh? It's cartoon art. All right. Oh, Void nice. Beckoner, which oh. is also Space Godzilla. Good card. I don't remember even seeing the regular version of this. Do yeah. you remember seeing it? Nope. I don't remember seeing it. This must be then. You know what? This is probably in the reprints of them because I don't think this. I've seen it. Bonders Enclave. Bonders Enclave. So not a bad uh, land. Not spectacular, but not horrible either. All right. And you've got a human soldier token. So it's been really, uh, it's been really interesting. I know I mentioned the the mat, but it's been really interesting lately on how PC uh, Magic the Gathering's gotten, and all the all the bannings of people and artists and all kinds of crazy shenanigans going on. So uh, full art Vul Volcapete, which is quite nice. Volpikite. Volpikite. Ram Vulp through. Mm -hmm. Some of the art in this set, I actually really love this art of Farfinder. Yeah. Generals Enforcer. All right, Generals Enforcer. Legendary humans you control have indestructible. Um, you can exile charge from in a graveyard, uh, from a graveyard. If it was a creature card, create a white human soldier creature token. That's not, a good card. Not bad. Uh, charge of the free, uh, forever beast. Valiant rescuer and death's, death's oasis, oasis, which is at best okay. All right. So we still haven't gotten the fifth ultimatum. We have not gotten it at no. all. Do you remember what it's called? Nope. Do you remember the colors? Um, we've got the Genesis one. This card's been good to me in... Uh, Eerie. Legend. Okay. We've definitely got Eerie. We've got, it, like, ten of them. Okay. But I don't remember the others. All right, so we got a full art, Pouncing Shore Shark, one of my favorite arts of the set. If you want to look at it more. I don't nice. Know. Really nice. Sanctuary Smasher and... Voracious Great Shark! He's real nice and solid. He is a really solid card. Uh, Flash 5-4. When he enters the battlefield, counter target artifact or creature spell. Yes, I face that card online a lot. Yeah, he's pretty nice. And then you got a good old advertisement. No table required. You can play online. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I think we should just keep a bunch of those and burn them. Yes! It's yes. so annoying that I get advertisement for online when we're... Oh, we got oh, some more sweet. counters. Awesome. All right. So, uh, yeah, I find I find it annoying. Like, online, like, you know, everything you play online, they're not advertising how to play paper. I don't know why they do paper for online. Uh, Skybinder is quite good. Ketria yeah. Kistel is good as well. Very playable. Oh, I love that card. Bastion of Remembrance. Really nice. Yes. And... Rabbit. Hey, there we go. Ah. Triome, very nice. So that is our first, I think, really nice... Uh, I guess the shark's pretty good, too, but uh, that's our first real value card. Oh, yeah. I think they're about 7 or $8. Yeah. So. Let's see if we can get him a full art Triome. That would be nice, right? We haven't got a Mythic yet. All right, yeah. so Phase Dolphin. How many Mythics are supposed to be in these? Uh, we don't know. Could be, could be... Usually in these, you, you'll get one. Odds are we're going to get one, but I don't think you're guaranteed one. Mm -hmm. uh, flame spill and hey, a personal favorite big fan of this card sky cat sovereign i have a deck where i play it uh it gets plus one one for each other creature you control with flying so if you do a flying deck this would also be really good with wonder there's a card called wonder that when it's in your graveyard all your creatures get flying uh, he'd be really nice in that deck so really like the cat bird nice so very nice you can make cat birds with it so he's nice all right and frost fill and books uh, uh foil and dark water and a token. Not the biggest fan of the tokens in this set, actually. They're kind of. I feel like they're very generic in this set in general. It's just like the Kraken. Is there any other ones that we like? Do you remember any other ones we like? Nope. No. Polywog Symbiote. Or Essence Symbiote. I like this guy. Yeah, I faced that online a lot. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, Cavern Whisperer, another full art. Really nice full art. Migratory Greathorn. All right, Duskfang Mentor, Necroplanter, very playable, uncommon. Sanctuary Lockdown. Yeah, good for human decks and poo. poo. All right, he got poo call, and um, a foil. Uncommon. We call all Mythoses poo. Oh, okay. Oh, I like the blue one. Oh yeah. The blue one's actually pretty good, but others are just poo. This is not. It's not that bad. It's just you know. They're poo. We just find them underwhelming as, we as rares. We get so many. Well, we get a lot of them, and we just find them underwhelming as a rare. You know, when, when they print 
they print kind of bulk rares uh, in some of these sets, and I just don't think they ever ever really had a chance to be a great card. You know, oh, I see something good coming. Reptilian Reflection. This is a good cycling card. Whenever you cycle a card, you may have Reptilian Reflection become a 5-4 dinosaur creature with trample and haste in addition to its other types till end of turn. So, cool. so in your third turn, you can get a 5-4. And Yorian Sky Nomad. So our first companion. Very nice. And... Boil! Kahira! Kahira, the Orphan Guard. Very nice. Very nice in foily. Nice two rare pack, and you got yourself some more tokens. Nice. All right, so we got three packs left. That's pretty good. That was, very good. That was a good pack, very great. Good pack. We've had a pretty solid opening. I mean, we still haven't seen a mythic, which is a little disappointing. We better get at least one mythic. We're gonna be yeah. We have... adventurous impulse, quite good as a common. We have two packs after this one. Yeah. Well, we could still get two mythics. Um, I think I just saw something good. Yeah, I like saw. An no, I think it's better than that. All right, exuberant wolf bear. Protocol. Okay, not bad cycling card. Easy prey and oh, it is an Everquill Phoenix. Full art. I could tell. Everquill Phoenix. I thought it was. I thought it was a uh, full art triome. Very nice. There's your full art, my friend. Nice. So he's quite good. You need some feather tokens. So. I, you haven't got a feather token yet. We'll have to give him feather tokens if he's going to play it. And. What did you knock down with those cards? I know. We used to play teepees when I was a kid, and I, I remember losing a Wayne Gretzky uh, rookie card uh, back then. And if you're a hockey fan, that's kind of a big thing. Those cards are worth a lot. Uh, they're long since gone. I wish I had them. They're probably worth hundreds of dollars at this point. Um, uh, Zenith Flare, nice uncommon. It's been a popular uncommon. All right. Cunning Nightbond. Another popular uncommon. Rooting Moloch. We got a Moloch. And Lava Brink Venture. Uh, he is very, very okay. All right. So he is a. Uh, you know what? He's good to play with. Uh, what's the one where you have to roll the die in uh, in Theros Beyond Death? Do you remember what's it? What his name is? The red and white. Played with him a bunch. He's six three or something or six one. Okay. And you got to roll a two or three or four. Anyway. Slash, he's... you may open this if you want. No, no, you guys do a great job. All right. So. First, what do we get in the back? We got oh, a B. Shark. Wow, that's a shark. I remember looking at this Lion shark token. Shark. He is a nice looking token. All right, what do we got here? Anticipate. Really like that card. Like the art. Mm -hmm. All right. Wait. Look at they got the I long think tongue. The sharks should Essence just have flying for one turn. Because it's a shark. they should be flying down. All right. Barrier Breach. Reconnaissance Mission. Come on. Are we going to end strong? I see full Luca! art. Luca! I... Oh, there's our mythic. Very yes! nice. Wow. Wow. Very nice. He is... Finish off strong. He is a super hot planeswalker. Have you been playing against him very much? I haven't faced him yet. No, really, eh? He has been super hot... Uh, there was a banning because he was they were just dominating the uh, the meta with him. So very nice Luca. Actually pretty good uh, 10 packs overall. Uh, we did pretty good in that we got we got some good uncommons. Uh, but we how did I end up with a land there? I'm always putting things in the wrong piles. Uh, Lava Brink Venture is quite good. You got a full art Everquill Phoenix, uh, Yorian, uh, you got a little bit of poo. Uh, Skycat Sovereign, very playable. We got ourselves a Triome, which is nice. Uh, the Great Chart's pretty good. Not a fan of uh, this card too much, but uh, it's okay. I uh, got a Bonders Unclub, very playable. And we got a Foil Kahira and a Luca. Oh, whichever way I'm going to go. Luca Copper Coat Outcast. Uh, very nice. Uh, good opening. I hope everybody enjoyed. Have a magical day. Bye. Bye.